Hey everyone, I'm Hannah and I love personality tests. You know, they just really get me going, you know, woo, so good. I can get quite obsessed with them. I love finding out about my own personality type and, you know, it just feeling like, oh my God, that's so me. And then I also love learning about other people's personality types and trying to like understand people better according to what fricking letters or numbers they are, or colours even. Oh, it's a good time. So I am bringing to you this mini series, Who Am I? There are seven videos in this series and they're going to come out every Friday, this being episode one. And in each episode, I'm going to do a different kind of quiz or activity and learn about myself through these different things. You may have seen from the title that this first episode is DNA testing. So I did 23 and me. But then in the future, we've got some Myers Briggs, we've got some Enneagram, we've got some color code, and we even have some Zodiac. Yes, we went to astrology. Woo! A couple of these videos will be just me, but most of them will be collabs with other YouTubers. So I really hope that you enjoy them just nerd out with me, it's just fun and silliness. None of these videos are meant to be taken seriously at all, so let's just enjoy the ride, okay? I'm just gonna enjoy the ride, it's gonna be a great time. So every Friday for the next month and a half, you get a bonus video, an episode of this mini series, and I hope you enjoy the first episode. This is a good start. Right, <laughs> so this is my 23andMe saliva collection kit. I have been planning to do this for so long that the address on this box was my old flat. Oh, this is a lot more like fancy than I expected. Wait, no food or drink for 30 minutes. <laughs> when did I have those biscuits? I feel like it was a while ago. I have been drinking water though. Does water count as a drink? Oh my God, do I have to like wait 30 minutes from now? I really should have read the instructions before I started filming. Let's be on the safe side. <laughs> I'm back. Whilst I waited, I registered my kit online and so now we're all ready to go. So it comes in this, this little thing. I'm getting flashbacks. It just looks so medical. This is just like reminding me of hospital times. This is not fun. But I never had to do any spitting in hospitals. So we spit to fill the line and then we close the funnel and then we detach the funnel and screw on the cap. Here's our cap. But this a little bit here has got like liquid in it. So I think when you close it, it like pierces it and then does it dilutes your spit. I don't know. Are you ready to watch me spit? Um, do some people have spit phobias? If you do, Look away now. I'm gonna miss. I feel like I'm gonna miss. It's quite big, but I'm... <clears throat> I'm getting performance anxiety. <laughs> I knew I would go everywhere. We're just going to let it like dribble in. This is the most attractive thing I've ever seen, right? We've got a line to fill to. That's, we've got quite a way to go. I feel like we need to censor all of this. I feel really exposed. Why am I doing this on camera? Why is it cute when Jack and Rose do it? And then it's like, actually disgusting when I do. Why is it pink? I think it just got attached to all my lipstick as I'm spitting it out. I mean, if food was gonna contaminate it, surely lipstick would contaminate it. Oh my God, I don't know. I think we're good. Right, so now what? We close the funnel. So is it gonna pierce it? Oh, yeah, it did. And then we detach the funnel. Oh, yeah. Screw that top on. <laughs> it's so pink, it's the colour of my lipstick. Oh dear. They're gonna send it back just like, sorry, we couldn't do your results. Um, right, now I shove it in this bag. There's a seal on the box. There we go. Right. Can you see up? Can you fly up? I don't know how long it takes. We'll find out. It has been a while since I filmed uh, that little intro spitting in tube there for you. I'm so sorry, that was disgusting. I regret filming it, <laughs> genuinely regret that. But the results have come in and they've been sitting in my inbox for weeks because I haven't had a chance to film this and I have been very disciplined. I have not looked at them in advance. So here we are. Um, I've got my laptop down here. 
So if you, if my eyes, that's what's happening. I feel like I should get like a, a stool, a stand, to be like, so I can. Huh, but no, I didn't think this through. Let's do this. Who, who am I? Where do I come from? Okay. Quick disclaimer before we look into this. I'm white. <laughs> Is that a disclaimer? I'm expecting this to come back like super European. The only thing about my ancestry that I already know that I think will be interesting to see if this, if this gets it, um, hopefully, otherwise I'd be like, hmm, confused. So my granddad did an ancestry test, not on 23andMe, I think he did it with, with ancestry. My granddad, this is my mum's dad, we don't know where his family comes from, really, because they're all Jewish, we think like Eastern European, North Asian, and have moved, um, because, you know, the history of everyone trying to kill Jews. Surname has been anglicised, Witten, my surname, is an anglicised version of Wittenberg, which is what their surname used to be, but we think that it, it might have been German aside. Oh my god, we don't know. We have no idea what the original surname is, and we don't really know where he's from. My granddad is, like, dark. He looks kind of Arab, North Asian, but he's got, like, bright blue eyes, super dark skin, super, super dark, but he also travels a lot, so I'm like, how much is that topped up by tan? So we always assumed that he was, like, maybe from one of the stands. Not him. He grew up in Birmingham. His, his ancestors, his family. So we thought maybe, like, North Asian, Eastern European. He did the ancestry test. Turns out it's all coming from like Lithuania. Was it Lithuania or Latvia? It was one of the L's, I think Lithuania. Anyway, they're white there. So we were very confused as to why he's so dark. It's a mystery. It's a mystery. Wow. Lithuania or Latvia, which one, which one was it? I can't remember. Right, whatever. We'll, well, maybe this thing will tell us. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. <laughs> I mean, it got one thing right. Your DNA suggests your ancestry is 50% Ashkenazi Jewish. <laughs> Hello, that 50%, that's my mum. My dad is not Jewish, so literally 50% Jew, Ashkenazi Jew. Twice I wasn't expecting it to like tell me that I'm Jewish, but yeah, it's true. Ashkenazi Jew and then 99.9% <laughs> European. This is exactly what I expected. Oh yeah, and then my dad's um, side of the family is is British um, slash Irish. So his mum is Scottish and his dad is Northern Irish. Oh, I said is, was. I never met him. We've got 50% Ashkenazi Jew. Let's have a look like where, where this side of my family have come from. Wow, this broad bit over here. Ashkenazi Jewish people settled in Eastern Europe in the late Middle Ages and are genetically more similar to other Jewish populations than to most Europeans. 50%. Right. And then 48.4% Northwestern European. This is, this is this, this little, the blue bit, the blue bit here. Northwestern Europeans are represented by people from as far west as Ireland and as far north as Norway. Well, we know that that's not gonna be me. As far south as France. Cool, cool, cool. So British and Irish. Yep, we expected that. Why is it specifying London and Cork? How does it know like specific cities? We predict you had ancestors in Greater London, um, Cork and 11 more regions. <laughs> Are any of them Manchester? And then 4.5% French and German. See, that's interesting because my grandma is German. So I am, I'm like, I'm, even if I'm maybe not ethnically German, like in terms of like my nationalities, I'm a quarter German because my, um, my great grandparents were born and raised in Germany, came to the UK, Holocaust, had my grandma, so my grandma, even though born and raised in the UK, is like eth ethnically German. I don't, how do you use the word ethnic like correctly? I don't know. So she's like German and she actually recently got her German citizenship. But apparently I'm 4.5% French and German. Hess, where's Hess? Hess, Germany, that's my Hess, Germany. Okay, this is a very broad region. But is this where, I wonder, because I know the name of the town that my great grandmother grew up in, and I wonder, I wonder if it's in this region, but it's a very tiny little town. It's called Sul. Sul, Sul, Sul. Where is Sul? 
So, Germany. Ooh, over there. Was that in Hesse? Where did Hesse go to? I don't know if that means anything, but that's a thing. Broadly Northwestern European. Okay, that's all of that stuff. 0 0.6 Southern European. That bit, I mean, that's so tiny. And then 0 0.9 Broadly European, just just broadly all of that area. And then I've got an unassigned 0.1%. I mean, no surprises here, really. But I'm like, I don't know, I'm just like, exactly 50% Ashkenazi Jew. I'm like, correct, because that is my mother's side. So I didn't do the um, thing where it gives you like medical stuff, because I, uh, that kind of freaked me out a little. Oh, this is interesting. This is showing like how far back, what? How many generations ago were your most recent ancestor for each population? I do have a grandparent and great grandparents who are 100% British and Irish. And I have a parent, my dad is 100% British and Irish. And then Ashkenazi Jew, you most likely had a parent or a grandparent who was 100% Ashkenaz Ashkenazi Jewish. And this person was likely to be born between 1930 and 1960. Wrong. My mum was born in 1963. But my grandparents were born not then, in the 1930s and 40s. My mum, if she did this, she would come out as like 100% Ashkenazi Jew. French and German. So I most likely had a second great great grandparent, third great grandparent, fourth great grandparent, or fifth great. So I've got some family member way back when who is 100% French and German. Wait, they're 100% French and German? Well, Technically, during this time period, Germany didn't exist. Germany didn't become a nation state until like, what, 18, is it 1891? Oh, that's my history knowledge. I bet it's wrong. Unification of Germany. Oh, 1871. I knew it was a one. 1871. I mean, yeah, still, but you know, this is going up to 1870 and it's obviously super precise. I mean, there's lots of other things telling me like links to click to interpret the results. Oh, okay. So this is the bit where it's like, <laughs> we're not confident. So, oh, these are all my different genes. These are all my different genes? Change confidence level. Okay, so this is <laughs> speculative. So if we change it all the way to conservative estimates. Okay, so even, <laughs> even with conservative estimations, I'm still 97.5%. European, and then I'm 49.4% Ashkenazi Jew. <laughs> Is there anything else that we can do here? Oh, wow, okay. So Ashkenazi Jewish DNA today is like, they're giving me a map of the United States because they're all over there now. This is where <laughs> we come from. <laughs> Wait, here we go, it says Lithuania. So maybe it was Lithuania, not Latvia. <sighs> Super uneducated here, me. L Jesus Christ, Lithuania. Where is that? Okay, the next door neighbors, Lithuania and Latvia. Cool, cool, cool. We all know that this is flawed. There are lots of caveats with this. So we're not taking it very seriously. Let's go back to my, my overview. <laughs> I just love it. Look at this, 50%, 50% Jew, 50% British Irish. That's what we've learned. A little bit of French and German sprinkled in there. Oui, oui, bonjour. I don't know any German. Ein, zwei, drei, vier. Okay, well, my laptop is overheating. Do give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I would love to hear about your ancestry, your heritage. Have you done one of these? Uh, spit in a tube, pay someone loads of money to tell you what your DNA is. Um, have you done that? If you haven't, where are your parents and your grandparents from? I wanna find out. I think it's really interesting. Thanks for watching again and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.